Hey everyone, and welcome back. So, a couple weeks ago, we played the demo for Cobalt Core, and it was pretty good. And then I had to wait a month to play anymore, because I didn't want to unlock anything, because I knew once this came out, I'd just have to unlock it all again. But now it's out, so... I'm pretty excited. Excited enough that we should uh, just dive right back in. So I'm going to assume this is... The demo was probably the exact same as just Sector 1. I think there's... Well, I guess it's Act. Eh, act or Sector. I'm not entirely sure. It's very similar map-wise to Slay the Spire, I believe. In terms of Acts. I know the map itself is very similar to Slay the Spire. Cat.exe, hello. Wake up. Harry? Harry? Peru. Peru, my head. Okay, good, your vitals seem stable. We got dizzy, what's happening? Cat.exe, I had to wake you up from cryo sleep early. There wasn't enough time to fully restore your memories. My memories, I need those. Well, I assume. Sorry, I had no choice. The command terminal will only respond to meat-based life forms. Just, uh, just get some hot dogs out. There's a ship off the bow powering up their weapons. I went to the bridge. All right, play cards to outweigh your opponents. You draw five cards a turn. Each card costs energy. A card's energy cost is shown in the top left. I do know how to play this game because we play the demo. Attack your enemy with attack cards. Always see what the enemy is planning to do. The enemy intends to attack for one damage from right here. You can block their attack with a shield. So got one energy left. Play the rest of your turn with yourself. So that's pretty much the gist of the game. We have health shields. Health's hard to get back. Shields can be generated in combat. Uh, we have our gun here. He has his gun here. And we have various different things to do. So we have like a shield one and a temporary shield that goes away at the start of the turn. We have a basic shot and then this one's just better. Just It's just two of them, right? <laughs> Might as well just use both. Out of energy, end your turn. This is the CCD-19 Cicada Drone. It's a big attack. We can use the evade to dodge attack. Space card to gain one evade. Stats are shown below your ship. Some have passive effects. Others can be used as resources. Evade is a status you can use to move around. So we can just dodge one to the right. And this is the whole crux of the game is the guns are in different positions and you gotta weave in and out. Got the basics down. Remember, you can always hover over cards, characters, or anything else for more info. Good luck. So... This, a scramble lets me move left or right. The lunge over here, it's a move instantly. So we can actually keep these in between turns, which is pretty good. We only have two power left, so we can either do two damage or get scrambled for next time. I think we're better off just doing two damage because we also draw two cards. We could maybe get the double shot again. We didn't get the double shot again, but we could have. I just gotta keep doing more damage. I think damage is good enough right now. Yeah, he's only doing one damage, so... Let's start with this. That's not gonna save me. That I'm still gonna get hit if I play this. I was hoping for... I don't know if we have one. Do we have a card that... Yeah. One damage plus one Tim Shield. That's what I was hoping to draw. We don't need it. We have a basic block. We're fine. And double shot. He is the tutorial enemy. No real issue here. He is going to be gaining armor here. I don't think he does anything else besides gain armor right here. Draw shot. We just want to keep drawing into that double shot, pretty much. That's the most damage we can do at a time. Um, This is lethal. We've got him. Sorry, Cicada Man. You're dead. Warp prep. Gain one shield and one evade at the start of combat. Hand cannon. Amount of other cards in your hand. Ooh. So, I mean, that's that's just four damage for two power. Great. Fire for one damage immediately after every move you make. 
Soft's playing will remove this card for the rest of combat. Hmm. This, I wonder if this is a power. AKA, you know, Slay the Spire, you play it once and then you just have that uh, ability for the rest of combat. I can't play it. I physically cannot play this card. <laughs> it's four power. Um, Scoot's pretty good. Just immediately move to the right. I want big damage. We're here for damage. I'm starting to remember. Right, the Cobalt, the Hyperdrive. Yeah, it blew up. Or you blew it up. Yeah, I vaguely remember pushing a button and then a white light. Yep, you blew it up. Shut up. Had this argument every loop. We've heard it 517 times now. All right, we got the coordinates of the Cobalt programmed in. Let's get there and stop the time loop. See, Riggs remembers. Usually she's the last one. I'm approving. All right, so here is our sector layout, right? And again, I'm gonna, like, at the start. <laughs> I can't help it. There's a lot of Slay the Spire here. We have random events. We have normal enemy combats. We have bonfires. We have uh, the chest at the middle. And then you have elites. And of course, the boss. <laughs> so it is very reminiscent. And we played a whole bunch of Slay the Spire the other day. Let's see. Uh, I think we get to upgrade cards here. Yeah, also offers card upgrades and removals. I probably should remove stuff. I don't have, like, that much trash. Actually, I wouldn't mind removing these just so I draw this more often. It's probably a better idea. However, I'm a sucker for random events. I do, I do like a random event. And we're probably better off with a combat just for the cards. I don't know if the random events are going to be better or worse than cards. I'm getting a really bad headache. It's from the high-pitched static. Hmm. You all again. Hello. Which one of you should I teach this time? Obtain one of three dizzy cards, rig cards, or parry cards. Or I don't trust this. Um, science officer, his cards are mostly shielding and shield manipulation. Your pilot, your cards are about movement and card draw. And attacks and instant movement. Well, of course, parry. <laughs> More damage. Add two damage to all attacks, decreased by one at the end of turn. Exhaust playing this will remove card for the rest of combat. Hmm. Now the question is if it goes negative. I'm a little worried that, like, oh, adds two damage, then adds one damage, adds zero, adds negative one. That would be bad. <laughs> uh, whenever you move, move one further. Lose this at the end of your turn. This card is not discarded at the end of your turn. Hmm, okay, so that lets us just... All of our movements doubled for one turn. Just for the one turn, though. Look, we go big or we go home. What has just happened? Energy ratings are back to normal. I think we could do it. I think we could do copious amounts of damage. This part's weak. This take or it takes one more damage from attacks. So yeah, we could shoot their missile bays, which are apparently weak. Shouldn't store all your missiles there. We Sorry, had to cough there. Uh, we really don't want to get hit by this though. <laughs> Four damage, not not great. Now, I'm pretty sure it goes in order of operations. So we would move two and then shoot, which is not helpful. We don't want to stand here though. That's definitely something we don't want to do. So we probably... Mm, I do have one free movement because of our artifact. So we could do this just to move out of the way. And then we'll go ahead and scramble. And then we'll just have two scrambles for next turn. Uh, uh, just imagine that combat has just now started. We're just better off. I don't want to play this if I'm not going to shoot anybody this turn. Because I don't really... Well, I could, couldn't I? Be one, two. Three. 
gun to here, gun to here, and I could lay into him. This is probably a dumb idea. On the other hand, this does six damage. Imagine if he were shooting this. That might have just, that one might just kill him outright. All right, I'll miss you three damage a turn. Ah, uh, yes, that'll do 10. Oh God, how much health does he have? He's got 15. Is that, ooh, is that lethal? If it's not lethal, it's gonna hurt really bad. So it's gonna be 10, this takes, I oh know it only takes one more damage, it's not double damage. Never mind, never mind, never you mind. Don't, uh, don't waste all your stuff there. It's still a bunch of damage. I feel like I'm in a bad position. <laughs> this is up to six now. Uh, that's not killing him though. He's got 14 total. Moving two to the right is just bad for business. That doesn't help me at all. Moving one to the left also doesn't help. I'm actually better off just tanking this. I hate it because it's three damage. And that's probably more damage than we took the entirety of the demo run. But then again, I didn't go all in on damage. Real shame I don't have more power. Alright, he's going to be dead next turn. I'm pretty sure. Yes, I'm going to take a bunch of damage. Never mind. I, I don't have enough damage here. I can't even hit his uh, spot, can I? He's going to raise their shields. I mean, I can go ahead and do this and not take any damage. And he's going to be down at one health. And this is a kill. I'm pretty sure health is pretty hard to come by. Boost capacitors. Max shields raised by one. Draw three cards. Uh, we want... Yeah, let's go with this. And just skip rewards. I don't want to do that. I want to have a very thick deck. I'm going to go for more events. I'm just curious what they are. And, oh, it's uh, extra planar being. Wait, ooh. Playing this card removes it from your deck. Oh, well, it's it's four health. <laughs> It'd be enough health. Uh, oh, it's all single use. I mean, a, a seven damage shot is great. I kind of want the health. Give, give me the give me the health. Thing is, I either use it right now or I hold on to it and I have to play around it the whole time. If I'm playing around it the whole time, also I do want to fight an elite. But if I'm playing around it the whole time, then I, it's just like minus one to my hand, right? I think it's so expensive. I, I need more power is what I need. Let's go ahead and just become undamageable at the moment. I mean, he's going to do one damage to my shielding, but I don't, I don't care about the shields. I mean, he's gained status. I want to hover over, see what he does. If fired on, will completely move out of the way left, decreases by one every time it triggers. So he'll, I think I'll just move one at this rate. Yeah, he just moved one. He's doing two damage. We can do this to block and be fine. Yeah, let's just do this. I could move over one to avoid getting hit. I... Actually, you know what? He, he's going to move back into me. So, yeah. It means I keep three shields. And he actually moved even closer. I need to get movement to the left. I have a bunch of movement to the right, which does not help. Oh, he moved to the <laughs> I didn't realize he had another one that moved to the right. Well, I've got one of those for you. Let's go ahead and full block. There's, uh, to my knowledge, there's no reason to rush. He's going to move over by one. He's a slippery devil. Like, I don't even want to 
move or fire just because he keeps dodging. On the other hand, I do need to kill him. Uh, he is still gonna he's gonna move to the left. Draw shot. Scramble, or I could just increase my shield. Like he can't do damage so long as I keep increasing my shield like this. I'm not too worried. I feel like that should have worked. Hey, <laughs> right. that seemed like it should have worked. Look, we'll just uh, get some armor. Not that it'll last any time. Gonna move to the left. We're going full in on evasion at the moment. Okay, he's not using any buffs, which means I could just come over here and probably just. I have no guns. Real shame about that. Guess we're a little scramble to the left. This guy is a. Uh, oh god, he's doing five. Look at that. He's had enough of my nonsense. Too bad I have all these dodges. I wonder if he just keeps going. Oh, he does. Just keeps going up. Won't help him. See, when he stops moving, I can easily hit him. Mmm. Oh, that exhausts. Big shield. Just draw three cards. Let's get something cheap, even if it only I can only use it one time. Just because um, I have all these two cost cards, and I can't really do too much with that. Jumper cables. Start your combat gain tip shield equal to missing hull. Oh, how handy. Means I can just tank the first hit, most likely. I get three. Objects in the mid row are between you and the enemy ship and can block attacks. They are much weaker than a ship and will be destroyed if they're hit by anything at all. Enemy is going to launch an object. Be careful, we don't know what it is yet. So this gives him one shield. I think he shoots a combat drone that hits me. Again, I really have no way of moving left. Not really. Okay, some damage on him. He really moved over. I can't hit him. I'm gonna have to just destroy the drone because I really can't go anywhere else. I need more movement. He's a slippery devil. Okay, well now I have all, <laughs> I have all of the movement. Too bad I can't do anything with that. I guess I'm just gonna hold on to this. I do have a little bit of damage. Okay, I've got three movement. He can't get shielded from this. See, he's got, what, four? He's got eight health total. I definitely, definitely do not have eight health worth of damage here. I could do, I could, I can do a little bit of damage. Three. He's filling the sky with stuff. Can't move over. I can't move over. Can I kill him now? I can kill him. Right, right. I've got the. Yes, I have. I have the damage. He's down. Options. Let you move left or right. Oh, just evade. Draw next turn. Oh, okay. Add a wave beam to your hand. Piercing attack ignores all shields and armor. This card will be removed from combat. At the end of... Wait, this card will be removed at the end of combat. Oh, that's the wave beam. Weird. I wonder why... Why the whole chicanery of you spawn in the wave beam? Why would this not just be wave beam? I mean, this exhausts. Oh, I guess the wave beam doesn't exhaust. So you play this once, and then you have wave beam for the rest of combat, and the rest of combat it's zero. Gain one shield plus one for every time play this combat. As much as I want these other things, I really need to be able to move. I've I'm having issues with that. My ship is very sluggish. On Earth is that ship it has so many guns. Oh, it's Jumbo, of course. Hey, it's me, Jumbo. 
Did you guys know there's a big bounty out for your ship with your registration number? Maybe not. Thanks for letting us know. No sweat. Getting, uh, getting on our way. Nope. Nope. Jumbo's not gonna let us leave. Ah, uh, this part's brutal. It takes double damage from attacks. That's what I was thinking about earlier. I think we just shield up. We're gonna take no damage. And we have copious amounts of shields. How much health do you have? You have 20 health. See, I move over two. I kind of wish it showed you where you move to because I don't know why I have such a problem with this. <laughs> Brain just can't take it. I want to shoot him like multiple times in the center, but that is it's not happening. I'll tell you that right now, it's not really happening. Instead, we'll take two. Actually, we'll take one. We've got two extra cards next turn, one move, and three shielding. And that's going to do... That does two damage. And if I draw more, let's draw two more cards, so that goes up to seven, so that would be 14 damage. I'm shy one damage. Cannot kill there. Which is a real shame. So we'll, uh... I just scramble away. We'll do a draw shot just to get some big damage. Free bolt. Take that. So that'll get me out of there. So I'm, I'm actually free to go ahead... Yeah, go ahead and just hand cannon? Because then I can move two, and I'm out. That's some good damage. That's some good damage. Alright, whatever I have, I should kill with. So how does it feel to be wrong? <laughs> Not great. Not great. Yeah, this thing, it, it's kind of like a curse until I use it. But I don't want to use it until I get full use out of it. You are, however, dead. Ripperoni and Pepperoni Jumbo. Uh, let's see. Deals one hull damage. This was pretty good for the demo. It it gives them one permanent poison, essentially. The one hull damage, this also just does that, but I can do it multiple times. It is the entire turn, though. They're all ex very expensive. I, I gotta take it. Even if I only play that one card, it's still a very good card. Gain two of eight on the first turn's pretty nice. Every time you discard pile is shuffled back into your draw pile, gain one of eight, also pretty good. Uh, apparently gain two max shield. Don't think I really need that. Question is, how often do I shuffle my deck? We have 17 cards, I get, you know, I shuffle it a lot, I think. Give me, give me that. Just because I have like three different things to do card draw. Leo, howdy, how's it going? Same old, same old. Is this loop 400 or something? 517. Let's get you on your way. Get you anything. Repair six all, remove a card, upgrade a card. Let's, well, what, what are the upgrades? What are the upgrades looking like? I upgrade, say, uh, I mean like, actually I kinda wanna upgrade the acid. I can make it cheap. Oh, let's make it cheap. Look, it doing four damage doesn't really matter. I don't... The damage isn't really what I care about. It's the fact that I can put poison, and then I can keep using it. That's the more important part. Because are you picking up any hostile ships on the radar? Nope. Sister's going crazy over here. I bet it's been a giant crystal ship. Let's see. No, no, the warp core signatures with any light year. Switch sensors to visual spectrum. Ah, yes, a big crystal. Big crystal. Yeah, there, there he is. Big crystal. Uh, I can go ahead and just tank whatever we want here because of the whole temporary shields. I said we we put uh, damage on him. We put damage. Also, this is gonna be good for next turn, having all those cards. 
See, we're only taking one damage. This is also really nice. Might as well play Bolt. I get to keep this the whole fight, right? It's just one of eight. But drawing it multiple times doesn't help. <laughs> uh, I don't think Overpower is going to help us much here. I do want to go ahead and do this. It does mean we take no damage. I guess we just hand cannon him. I, I should have hand cannoned him from the start, mind you. But we're probably fine. He says not having much evasion. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. Um... Yeah, I guess we'll spend two to do this. And then we'll block. This is where I'm paying for having the basic shots in my deck still. Don't want it. Don't want it. My ship's five wide. One, two, three, four. Yeah, there's not great options besides just standing here. I'll take two damage. Not too much I can do about that. I move over. Either way, I'm getting smacked for more damage, so. We'll use repairs when it comes up next time. Should be nice. Let's get out of my deck. Um, let's go ahead. We want to go ahead and queue up more scrambles, I think. I want to be able to make big moves. Go ahead and damage. Yep, yep, we want to make big moves. See, that scramble is going to put us here and then it's like three more to get out or we can move one to the left make that two to the left we had to move two to the left to be really safe to the right okay yeah it, it wouldn't matter which way we can move here we'll do a shield surge basic block and a multi shot I have some armor. I have some movement. Really do not want to be right here. <laughs> There's a lot of places we want to be. Here is not one of them. Three damage, huh? Well, that's why we saved our movement. Also get a whole bunch of shields. Okay, we're getting shot for four. So let's go ahead and get this. And then again, next turn, we just want to draw more. We're playing the long con here, which might be an issue, as seen here. Could be a little bit of an issue. Let's see, there's four damage over here. It's not too bad. It's better than the six damage over here. I do have a lunge. I do want a lunge. Okay, so we still have four damage to our name. We can move three, so we can move out of the way. And we'll be down to three damage. Which health do you have left? You have 11. This will take us down to... I don't know if I want to move this thing. Might be better off just doing more... Uh, I can do options and move. See more cards next turn. I'm still taking one, or no, yeah, I'm taking two damage here. But I'm glad I'm not standing over there. That's very imperative. I'm glad I'm not over there. So let's go ahead and acidify. And then we can shield surge and be protected. He is on a very strict timer now. He's got five health. And I have what I would consider to be five damage. Let's start of the turn at the end of the turn. End of every turn. Well, time to see what the math is for this. Never mind. That's I keep thinking that gives me double damage, so I'd be doing four, not six. Also, full health. Handy. Attack damage equals total damage of enemies' cannon attacks. Ooh. I mean, total? Like, all of them? Because that could be, like, 30. Choose a card in your draw pile, put it in your hand, and then another hand cannon. Give me that parry. That could do a lot of damage. Every tenth time you draw a card, gain one energy. Okay. 
Okay, I'm just trying to mentally math that. Start of combat, gain one power drive. On the second turn of combat, the enemy also gains one power drive. Power drive is added as extra damage to all attacks. It's... okay. That's just brimstone, I believe. Kind of. Just everyone's gonna have... It, it, this is a race to the bottom. Gain one energy every turn. Your ship cannon becomes weak at the start of combat. Takes one more damage. Okay, but like, I really want energy. First time you guys managed to beat that thing. Really? How many times have we tried? 517, theoretically? <laughs> you don't want to know. What was it? These units are correct. I think it's some kind of time crystal. I've seen microscopic ones in the lab and in the cobalt particles accelerator, but never so large. The microscopic ones try to kill you. Um, no. And let's keep moving. This is where the demo ended, so this is all new territory. The nav system is taking us through the lawless sector. The zone is full of pirates, thieves, and smugglers. Like the last one. Everyone should have their sidearms on them at all times in case we get forded. I get a gun. Everyone but you. Is there <laughs> is there boarding in this game? So that's cicada drone. Three damage, which isn't great, but look at all this power I have. All this sweet power. We just move one. Also, this poison uh, ignores shields, by the way, which is really nice. Go ahead and grab that bolt. Let's go ahead and get options for next time. Some more capacitors. Move one again. Oh, I could have shot him once. Oh god, he's just getting stronger, isn't he? <laughs> he's got one big gun. Granted, I can parry him and do copious amounts of damage. I don't need to use repairs, which I guess is nice. Still need to, like, move out of the way of this. I want to start doing some damage, too. Did that just forward? This does six damage. We want to do this. He's got six left. Can't kill here. Can shoot him twice, move twice, and probably use a shield surge. And then dead? Dead. Dead. Very dead. Now scramble always to the right. Flux. Whenever the ship attacks, it gains one temp shield, decreased by one at the end of turn. One temporary shield. Hmm, it's really expensive. Because right now, that really only means I could play, like, maybe two. So it'd be three damage, two shields, which isn't the worst thing ever. I do think I just want another scramble. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. All these random... Question marks would be nice. I think I do want to hit this bonfire. We want to do like one, two. Fight this guy, then put this up here. I think I want to take on all the elites just because I like I like artifacts. Help from a research vessel. It's Dr. Bajorn. Are you available for a brief test of the great Dr. Bajorn's latest invention, the Duplatron? This might sting a bit. Duplicate a card in your deck. Duplicate a card in your deck four times and lose three max health. Dear God, what what card could I even duplicate three times that would be worth it? Besides the repair card. <laughs> Sorry, I have infinite health. Not really. It would just be a bunch of cards I could not use. Do I have a good... I guess I get bolts. Bolts aren't the worst idea. An acid cannon. You know what? I wouldn't mind a second acid cannon. I don't think I want to duplicate anything four times. That's excessive. But having a second acid cannon, just to try to maybe stack acid? The bigger my deck gets, the harder it is to, um... Also, how's it going? Good to be expected. Which I mean, bad. Anyway, the bigger my deck is, the harder it is to get a particular card. 
So, like, I'll only be able to play this once every, what, 17, 20? So every three turns at best. So this means I can play it at once every one and a half turns, essentially. On average. We probably should remove a card. Yeah. Yeah, like, these, these basic shots, I don't think we care about anymore. We have better things. It's a real shame that that's, that's all you get to do there, is remove a singular card. All right. Uh, it's a Starnacle. <laughs> they rogue Starnacle. The enemy is going to give you a card. This can't be dodged. Get ready. Thank, thank you. Says it's probably a bad card. Takes one less damage from attacks here. There are asteroids to hide behind. Oh, I'm not missing any health, so I don't have the my. My free shields. I was thinking like, oh, I'll just take this damage. Can't take this damage. I don't have any free health. Only takes one to move over and be safe. I wouldn't like. Do you see how much health he has? He's got 30. I definitely want to at least poison him once. It would. I kind of want to poison him twice. I poison him twice. I don't get any health though. Oh, and I'm definitely taking double. No, no, I'm not taking double damage. I'm moving over one, so not double damage. Uh, let's just, let's just be safe. I don't want to take any damage. Missile Visions. Okay. And he's got... Well, I mean, it'd be nice. It'd be nice if I could do much of anything here. Can't play any of these cards. None of these will actually hit you. Well, how many of these are you going to give? Because I don't want any of them. I also don't care much for the current <laughs> the current state here. Uh, shooting him here does nothing. Let's see, we can move two to the left. I think we just start moving to the right. It's blocks. There's there's things to hide behind. Question is if we I, I think we save up our our evasion here. Eh, don't give me those I don't know what these are. Playing this remove it for oh it just fills my deck with trash. Let's get some options. I'm gonna move over one. We don't want to be hit by that. We definitely do not want to be hit by that. I think we just try and get more evasion. I'm gonna need a lot of evasion. This is a an endurance match. It's definitely an endurance match. I just want to keep cursing him and running away. Um, I would love to run to the asteroids, but that's kind of not where I am right now. Maybe if I had power for that lunge. Okay, he is losing two health, so he's he's down to nine turns. I can make it three. Make it three a turn. It's a good thing I have this evasion. Get some basic block. Maybe should have played Overpower to try and kill him next turn. Um, I do still have evasion. I, oh, I can also hit him again. Let me see what we're working with here. Have a scramble. No, we just wanna we wanna keep keep moving. He's gonna be down to nine health next turn. And I definitely cannot move. I might have lethal though. No, I've got lethal. I've got lethal. Okay, that was scarier than it needed to be. Having the center of my ship be <laughs> weak is not great. It's not double damage. I need to remember it's only uh, one more damage, but still not great. Fire one for wait, fire for one damage immediately after every move. Or this hieroglyphic outgoing this stats can be applied to the enemy whenever or wherever they are block incoming damage capped by max shield total stun cancel every single intent on the enemy ship what in the world does this do if shield equals zero 
and enemy shield equals zero, then stun and end my turn? I think that's what that means. If if both of us have no shields, then we could just stun him and end my turn. Just it's like a redo. However, I move. I move and I schmoove a lot. So if you end your turn with more than zero energy, gain one shield. It's not great. Gain one max health and heal one every time you defeat a boss or elite. Too bad. May we remove two cards every pair of yards. Even better, probably. Granted, there's only one left. Look, I either get one, one max health, or I get rid of two cards. I can also maybe. It just feels bad spending that energy. I guess it means I always, at all times, have one of these in my hand. I just don't have to play a card. It it might come useful. I just if there were more of these, maybe. Watch out. If this attack hits you, it'll also give you a status. Okay, definitely don't want to get hit by that then. Give me some options. And I really wish overpower could be used today gonna go over here real quick so I might as well draw a shot that's unfortunate I can't do anything with these basic block and the free basic block <laughs> okay we don't want to be standing where that missile's gonna hit let's get a bolt yeah I don't want to attack him really um I can move out of all damage with the bolt Play strafe. I think I scramble and shield surge and multi shot. So I do two damage. I then get out of the way. I don't get hit by missiles. Oh, uh, what are the early operations here? Is he gonna shoot that first? He might, you know, cause this use for himself. I don't have a lot of great options here in terms of uh, stuff, right? Not a lot of damage. It cannot miss. <laughs> That's a concern. Mainly because I don't have any real way of doing anything about that. I can poke it. I can, in fact, poke it. I have so much power. Or evasion. Not a lot of power. I would love to hit this enemy at some point. Game. Okay. Please. I request items. I guess just give me a whole bunch of basic dodges. This gives me one more shield. I guess we might as well use this then. This does miss. It's a heavy missile. I'm, I'm kind of tempted to do strafe. Putting him for my strafe run. Can't really play much else. So I guess uh, single basic shots. He's not hurting me any. I'm going to need some more evasion. This is another one I can't miss. None of this is evasion. None of this helps. I mean, this is evasion, but for next turn. It gives me one evasion now, I suppose. Okay, we can do two damage. I kind of want to acidify him instead. Then I take two damage to the shields. He's acidified. How much health do you have? Nine. So not lethal. They just double scramble. I'm taking no damage. I've got enough movement that I can just move back and forth and maybe kill him that way. 
See, that's going to do four, and he'll be down to eight. And then we we dance. <laughs> it works. It does work. Panic. Instantly move two spaces in a random direction. Block one damage. Do zero damage. Uh, well, if I play it, it's because I'm panicking. It's probably just going to be worse for me. Currently gain two max shield. It's a smaller crystal. Crystalline offshoot. There's no ship part here. It's empty. Shots fired will miss. This that, that could just end way worse if I did that. Let's just start with this. And... We'll do this, move one, and we'll get one extra shield from not doing anything. I'd rather not scramble back into him. Let's see, we can scramble two to evade most damage. We are gonna still get hit by one of these. Can't really strafe. Um, I could shield surge. Let's draw, see if we get anything we care about. Basic block. Don't really care about any of this. Alright, we're gonna take one damage. But it doesn't really matter too much. I think we move one, lunge one. We are in the middle of like all this damage, which isn't great. Not great. But we are probably fine here. Might just wanna start loading damage up. I can either take one less damage. I mean, we're only losing, what, two shield bubbles here? That's not the worst thing ever. And he's got two poison on him. All right, Panic, where are we going? Not bad, not bad. We'll bolt and we'll also scramble and we'll get out of the way. We'll get one extra shield from this. Turns out artifact handy when I play most of this game by running away. I think we scramble. I can move four, right? So I can do this. Still taking one. I guess we're taking zero. If you don't count the armor. But he's taking three a pop. So I just need to do six damage. Can I do six damage here? Um, technically, yes. I can do eight. <laughs> Parry! Bun mash. Let's see, so three shield, move to the left three, and then evade one. It's only a tent on the targeted part. Hmm. Or gain one evade every turn. A free evade? I love evades. All I do is dodge. Every time you discard pile is shuffled back into the draw pile, the enemy loses one hull. Caps a three damage a turn. Interesting. Currently gain three health, heal three. Or after your first attack turn, gain one stun charge. Your next one attack will stun. Oh. After your first attack, each turn gain one stun. That seems pretty good. I should be able to cancel like most things. I shoot. I shoot a lot of times. Uh, if this attack hits you, it'll also give you a card. Okay. Let's see, I'm gonna assume, yeah, that's empty. Attacks will pass through. He's got a cockpit. We don't really care what this is doing. We panic, but I don't think that really helps as much. Main issue is that we don't have. Let's we'll see where this goes. This way. All right, we got stun charge now. So I can I can do this, and it stuns him. I will go ahead and scramble for later. Don't want to be hit by that missile, obviously. It's Spike Junior. See, we want to go ahead and bolts. Let's. We have options. We do have options. I wonder if this counts. If that'll work out. It might not. I do think we want to move. 
left. It did, in fact, cancel. That's great. And then, let's have all the evasion ever. I love evasion. This guy, all he does is curse me, pretty much. Let's see, I don't really have... I, I, I do have some movement options. It uses all of my movement. But I can do... Let's say this. And then an acid cannon here. Now this gives me move, but I can do one more regular damage. I guess I might as well. It's probably better than the one shield. Just a shame that we're very slowly killing him. Strafe is not a bad idea. Okay, he's been stunned. I can probably block this. It only does two damage. Like, who really cares? I can block all of it and then end with one extra shield. Probably the better option. This doesn't miss. Good thing to know, this does not miss. Means we want to come over here and blow it up because we obviously don't want to just get hit by it, right? And then we can acidify. They have one point left. So let's go ahead and get more options for next turn. I love options. Oh god, it's... <laughs> I gotta scramble to the left, please. Scramble to the right. It's gotta do two damage. I... Well, we just kill. <laughs> that also works. We could just kill him right now. Attack damage equals total damage to the enemy. That's another parry. Parry B. But it always retain. Or another acid cannon. Ooh, scramble. That just gives more scrambles. I do a love evasion. Though this, the retain, I think it's too powerful to, to say no to. Or salutations. It's just low. Move card, upgrade card. Do, 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 do. And I wouldn't mind upgrading something. Also, it would be nice to get another basic shot out, because I don't really want to ever see that. There's a lot of cards in this deck I won't want to see. Just a shame that you can only move one at a time. Make it so it never exhausts. Ooh. Or two. Ambassadors could go up to lots of permanents. Panic. Let you attack twice? Why would I need to attack twice? Or I could pick my direction. Panic being able to pick direction is probably pretty good. Remove. Okay, that just removes exhaust, so we could use it over and over. That makes it not exhaust. Hmm. This is in a random direction as well. What about my, um... Oh, is mine? My move and schmoove thing already upgraded? I guess it is. Well, it's, it's strafe. Strafe A. Yeah, okay, so the, the A and B, that's the different upgrade types, I think. Ooh, make it pierce or shoot it three times. Draw shot cannot be upgraded? What do you mean it can't be up? Oh, I was still... Uh, that was in that deck. I was confused. It's a lot of decks. Draw... Where is draw shot? I use that a lot. Draw a ton of cards. I keep... I keep clicking this, going to the wrong thing. I really shouldn't. I think I want to make panic like a guarantee so I know where it's going. It, it's a free to move. And it goes from being potentially catastrophic to not. I'm being held by a pirate. Or a pirate in a cruiser class warship. Hello. Oh boy. So I put it on screen so we can all see. Sure. It's rigs with a question mark. There's duplicates. 
It should be so soft. This should be easy. Uh, oh, yeah, that's a... Is it a time loop if there's multiple of you in the time loop? <laughs> this part is concussible. Any shot that hits it will cancel this part's intent. Okay, well, they're not doing anything at the moment. Oh, no, they're gonna raise shields. Can't say I like our current position. Moving two to the left or two to the right is not gonna help either. Look at how much health that is. It is weak at the very least. Takes one extra damage. I think we raise shields. I think we just go full defense right now. I'm taking, I'm taking zero damage. I guess. And I'll have one extra thing, for, one extra shield for next turn. Yeah. Oh. I actually might be better off lunging. If I lunge, my main gun's gonna be here, so I'm gonna be hit by this and this, but I won't take four damage. Because this is weak. Yeah. And I, unfortunately, I don't have... I, I could stun something, theoretically, but didn't have the movement for it. Hold and scramble. This is pretty good now that I have copious amounts of... <laughs> I think it's gonna do a lot of damage, right? Get that bolts. Give me a draw shot. I wanna move over one already. Yeah, I wanna get out. I don't wanna be in between these missiles. These missiles are gonna be an issue. Also, these this isn't concussible. This is just weak. I mean it is kind of concussible. Give me a block shot so that's concussed. And uh, give me. Ramble? Scrambling? Or am I giving options? Let's see. So I've got two. One, two. Two more gets me on the wing. Best I can do. A lot of missiles, but they're not gonna hit me, which is good. We want probably acid cannon. Acid cannon's not a bad idea. Can't scramble. I am kind of where I am. I am where I am. So I'm taking two damage here, guaranteed. Question is if I wanna Oh, I can actually multi-shot. Oh, maybe I'm not taking two damage. Maybe I'm taking no damage. Okay, I'm taking one damage. Same difference. One damage isn't too bad, all things considered. Really wish this was double damage. <laughs> it's not, it's not double damage. Strafe also wouldn't be a bad idea, but I don't have a good way of evading things. All right, one for every move you make. I make a lot of moves. I'm gonna make a lot of moves. I can panic. Okay, so we panic left, and we're in the same general position. And we're left with three power, which I could either strafe and get stronger, or we could like shield surge and acid cannon. Acid cannon might not be the worst idea just because the shields are gonna be an issue. And that'll put uh, Riggs question mark on a very short timetable, like, what, five turns? That doesn't, no, no, 10 turns. Uh, I guess nine turns. It doesn't even shoots. If it shoots for zero damage, it still might do some good stuff. We'll see. It does, in fact, shoot. It still shoots. That's great. That's actually really good. Okay, so timetable again moved up. I'm taking no damage. They really just want me to be hit right here. Another, yeah, another cannon would be nice. I don't want to do that, though. Okay, so 23 health total. I'm definitely not doing anything with that. I'm looking at, what, four, six damage? I 
can't shoot twice. Not with my current loadout, at least. I can scramble and move over, so I'm just getting shot by, like, these two. Yeah, there's not a lot of great options. I wouldn't mind another acid cannon. That really moves up the timetables. But then again, I am getting smacked by a lot. Okay, let's say I did shoot this. It doesn't really matter where I shoot it, mind you. But imagine I did shoot this. I would then have the movement of three. So main cannon would go one, two, and three. So I'd be getting hit for three three damage, but I'd only take two. I'd be down to 11 health, but that three is probably really good. We just gotta worry about next turn. This would be better for this turn, of course, or next turn. I do just think it's, it's better just to lay on that poison. I'm getting smacked. Yes. But she keeps getting shielding. Which is really annoying. <laughs> Frankly, just really annoying. Alright, I can't even move. So, that's not great. But, I'm only going to take two damage. And by that, I'm going to take one damage. Not bad, plus four poison a turn. What's that timetable looking at? Real bad for you? Three turns. I, I survived for three turns. Um, we go ahead and do this. Then we panic to the left. So we're getting shot for two damage again. Let's go ahead and draw a shot. See what we... Not a lot, huh? I think we just gained a basic dodge. I really should have done options, actually. It's looking rough for you. How much health do you have total? Six. Uh, you have 11 health. 11 health. I mean, I could do seven. Which is a lot, mind you. I could also turn this gun off, so I'm only taking two. I could probably have the kill here. I can't even really move anywhere to be safe. So this is probably not the worst idea. I can do this. And I need to do... I, I could do this. That's not going to help me, though. I need to double shot. And then you will die at the start of your next turn. Dead. Easy peasy. Million health back. Plus two max all. Ten health. Discard everything. Draw five. Another strafe. That would be funny, but no. Uh, gain one chip shot at the start of every turn. I mean, it's a shiv. <laughs> uh, let me, let me, I want to cycle the deck. At the start of combat, gain one power drive. On the second turn of combat, your enemy also gains one power drive. That's that again. Uh, Armist exclusive artifact, which is... Who? Is this the ship? I'm gonna assume it's the ship because I that's yeah, Dizzy, Riggs, and Perry. If you end your turn with more than zero energy, your wings retract and become empty until the next turn starts. Ooh. Makes me small. Gain one evade every turn, you can no longer have more than three evade at a time. I mean, that would be just me burning evade constantly. I don't really stack it up. I mean, I kind of do. I think being able to become small for one power is very nice. So you good? Yep. I thought you for a while. If you need a break, that's nah, fine. I just murdered myself. Tell me honestly. Could I become a pirate? <laughs> I look cool in a black jacket like that. Purple eyeliner. Entering new zone question marks. 
where the ship has been taking us. Is it? It's the same energy signature as the Cobalt Core or Cobalt's warp drive. Without a containment shielding. Energy levels that shouldn't be possible. It's pretty though. Let's go kill it. It's our plan. All right, Cicada Drone. You do have. You get stronger every time too, so you need to be dead sooner rather than later. Give me a bolt. I think if I want to shoot twice. Um, uh, let's see. I could move over. I could shoot once, and poison. Then move this to the right. I can move one to the right. I, I think I got a plan. I got a plan. I got a plan. We we shoot the gun. Gun has been shot. We move one. Panic. I have one power left. The shield or the the wings will retract, and I will hide like a wee bab. Perfect. Um, I think we just move one. Double shot. Probably get a nice ace. And then lunge away. I guess we could, we didn't need to lunge. Well, I have quite a lot of scrambles. <laughs> I'll give you that. I have plenty of scramble. Which I'm going to need to use right now. How much health do you have? Like, a lot? A lot. Nothing weak either. This is definitely, I just need to acidify you to death as I uh, flee. Let's see, I move over one. I can shot, basic shot, and I'm fine. Acid shot, basic shot, wings retract. I kind of wish I could click a button to spend money to retract the wings beforehand just so that I know it's going to do that because I'm worried it does it won't like something will happen and it just won't okay let's draw a shot the parries are just going to get stronger and stronger which is really nice stun and then again we cower the poison is stacked you are taking like 8 damage here I probably can't kill this But I can I only have one attack. I have two attacks, technically. Hold on. I can, no, I can still do this. I hand cannon. Then I panic. And then I don't move. Perfect. You're bleeding. You're also going to do 10 damage. Congrats. <laughs> the longer combat goes on, the stronger I get. An extra battery. Gain two energy would be... That's pretty nice. Uh, multi-stun. Just stun everything. Stun. Move one to the left. Stun. Move one to the left. Stun. Or free stun charge. This doesn't exhaust. It does need two power, but it doesn't exhaust, and I get to move two. Oh, look at this. I can actually go to an upgrade station and also a combat. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go upgrade station. So it'd be boop boop. No, it's gonna be shoot. This is the only one I'm not gonna get shot. Unless I do this. For next turn. That's a move right one? Why did I move right one? Did he? Oh, he might have moved one. It's fine. He is going to inflict a status, which I don't like. So I'm not going to let him do it. I don't know what he was going to do. Don't care. Not not happening. He is going to hit me for three, though, and I don't really have literally anything to do about that. An ace for next turn, and I guess... Do I also get a shield when I end with one extra? I do. Look at that. Still hit me for like a ton. A ton of bricks. How much health do you have? You have 16 total. I can hit you for 8. 
which is some damage. It's just not a lot. This never misses either. Let's get some options. We're going to shoot this thing. That needs to be shot. I'm going to go ahead and poison you a little bit. Move two. Yeah, uh, oh, oh. What are the odds I get a bolt? What are the odds I get a bolt? Fairly low, I'd say. But I'm nothing if not someone who risks it all. I did not get a bolt. <laughs> I did not get a bolt. This guy's only also doing four damage. I can't hit him for seven. He's got what? 13 max health. I can also turn that gun off. Still gonna get hit by this though. You you think all my stuff would let me move more. I'm trying to determine if it's better just to stall. <gasps> I clicked in turn! That was not my card deck. <laughs> not great. I'll tell you right now, that's not what I wanted to click. I at least dodged his big shot. Uh, can I get some repairs, please? <laughs> uh, quick, panic. Panic now. He's gonna move if I try and shoot him. Actually, it might just help me, if anything. I still just move out of the way. I I hate that I clicked that button. Oh, that is not the right button to click. 10 damage, huh? How much health do you got? Not a lot. Not a lot, Jimmy. Can't, can't kill you, though. Just gotta lunge out of the way and then scramble. We're just gonna wait for the, the poison to stick down a little more. Still not killing me. Or killing him. I do have quite a lot at this point of, uh, of Asian. I don't like the guys who, who do this nonsense. Okay, it's fine. Because now he's shooting nothing. And he's taking damage. This is just the, the entrance guard. What a, why am I so bad at this? <laughs> just kill him. Okay, it's fine. I get four free health at the start of combat. Uh, lose one hull, add one damage to all attacks. Whenever you move, move one further, lose this at the end of your turn. Okay, okay so that just lets me double for one. Multi-shot actually probably not a bad idea since I'm not doing much to shields. Pair eight health. I only need four, so that's not really worth it. I just want to remove some more trash. And hope I don't just turn to dust against this man. Well, he's got like a lot of stuff, huh? The enemy's going to corrode itself. But why? Why would it do that? It'll take one less damage from attacks. I mean, it does have 60, 60 health. And it's just a little bit of health. I'm not sure if you noticed, he's got a little bit of health. Um, I wanna acidify him more. I think it's probably better to do like dodges though. What what do we got? What do we got? Not anything good, really. Okay, he's not hurting me. And I also get one shield belt. Okay, now he's hurting me. Definitely want to scramble here. Uh, let's see. Move left a whole bunch. Pretty much just move left a whole bunch. Give me some more options. And then... I'm gonna have a bunch of cards next turn. 
He's up to four damage a turn. Yeah, he's just gonna keep doing this nonsense. I can't start hitting for big damage, though. Give me a bolt. Um, this won't really do much, because I'm gonna get out of here. But let me, let me do this, so he's not shooting me, and I can just come over here and hide. And let's go ahead and get more acid on him. Yeah, more acid. I want him to be dead sooner rather than later. Six damage. He is bringing out the big damage. I'll give him that. Um, this scramble will prevent me from taking damage. I can't play it with strafe, which is a shame. It is just a, like a really good card, though. Let's get let's get scramble queued up. Can't play anything else. No more power. No, yeah, that's that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Blocks are not gonna do much here. No, we just we move one. I don't play anything. I get a little armor. My wings retract. He takes seven more damage. And I'll get one of eight a turn. I just wait. How much health do you have? Seventeen. I just parry him. Okay, like, <laughs> I was thinking, like, there's no way this could go wrong, right? <laughs> but if it does, oh, if it does. Uh, get a card from your discard pile, put it on top of the draw pile. Or this part takes double damage from all attacks. Exhaust. So we can weaken a hull. That'd be, no, I think we want this one. I think we want to be able to just grab something for free real fast. Every three dizzy cards play gains one shield. Which are the blue ones, right? Blue? Blue. I have many blue card. Okay, I actually don't have that many blue card. I need to gain three health, heal three health. I do have the option to remove like a lot of cards. Maybe I do want to just remove a ton of cards. What cards would I remove? Overpower probably? I don't want to play that ever. Um, I don't want both parries. Get rid of one of, one of the parries. Probably get rid of... Maybe in the basic dodge and the basic block. Basic block's unneeded. I'd rather play this than this. So maybe it is worth, uh... Getting the jettison hatch. I've got a bunch of scrap yards coming up. Okay, he's drilling. It is weak, takes one more damage. He does have a lot of health, though. And I have no way of hurting him. Good. <laughs> I'm very glad to see that. Gotta get through all these rocks first. I wonder if he'll take... If he'll... Uh, eh, mm. No, we panic. We panic move. And then I can acid cannon. And then give myself some options for next turn. Is this is this all this guy's gonna do? I mean, I'm not gonna complain about that. Not at all. It's just a little weird. Oh, that Pierce. Um, I could get it. To, I almost did it again. Almost did it again. Why am I getting another acid cannon up here? Be for next turn. Still not hurting me at all. I'm also not really hurting him either. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's we'll go ahead and put it on the top of the draw pile for next turn. Then I gain one block. Then I go ahead and give him just a, a smidgen more acid. Then I bolt and ace it up. I have all of the evasion. More evasion than I ever have in FTL. 
<laughs> hey, these things are actually attacking now. Too bad I'm not going to be over there. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? We'll do one of those and hit him with big damage. But he's got so many shields, it's not going to do much. Just give me more Todges. I hope he's going to double digits. Uh, oh, that's perfect. Yeah, turn his stuff off. Such a good, good item. Uh, I won't get through his shields, so I might as well just get more evasion. Alright. Nine. Does it go up to ten? It does go up to ten. And he should... I could just end my turn here. He should be dead next turn. Yep, dead. Can I fight that guy every time? He was really easy. Let you move left or right. Lose all of a next turn. Ooh, that hurts my bones, though. There's also options. I take it it's an emergency option. Uh, ricochet paddle. When you shoot an incoming missile, turn it around instead of... Ooh, destroying it. Neat. Howdy. Move. Remove a card or remove two. Why is this a separate option? Is there a reason I wouldn't want to remove two cards? I mean, I could just... I guess I can't go back. I have to do this. That's fine. There are many things that I want to remove, such as... This one. Yeah, I don't need this. It's not... I haven't played it in a hundred years. Oh, it's Grandma! Oh, dearies. What brings you to Grandma's Bakery and Weapon Market today? Weapons and cookies. Let's see. One treat. Gain one random upgraded rare card. Or... Can we use your trash can? Uh, no. Give me something random. Choose a draw or discard pile. Put it in your hand. Oh. I get to pick a card from anywhere. Also, this guy, again, I could heal up. Probably better just to get rid of the trash that I don't want. Now we're gonna remove two card. Uh, I pretty much never play hand cannon. Let's get rid of hand cannon. Just the expansive things are hard to play. And I don't want the double parry. I can't play two parries at once, so a lot of the time it's a dead draw. No known powerful enemy. This is our final waypoint. It is. The cobalt is embedded in that singularity. Are we ready? Don't look so nervous. Hey, cat, how many times have we been here before? Zero. That is first time for everything. Can't fight the cobalt while it's inside singularity. Someone needs to bring it out. I'll, I'll employ myself to the cobalt now. Goodbye. <laughs> All right. Bye. Say some other way we accomplish that. Nah, it's fine. It's probably fine. She's already dead. Cat is already dead. That takes extra. Okay, cobalt. Nine billion health. We want to just start stacking acid on this bad boy. Can't say I'm in a great area. The first shot's gonna miss. I, uh, I won't have any extra. No, it's, it's fine. It's fine. I think it's fine. I wanna. I wanna start. Let's go ahead and throw a bolt on there. There's no reason not to take a bolt. Extra evasion. If I move one to the right, then I shoot, move, shoot, move. Be right here. This will still hit me, but I don't care about that really. I could not move and still be fine, but I can't hit anything from here. Uh, you also cancel your attack when hit. Custable. Also armored. No, we don't even want to hit the center, I think. I think we do this. We just start aciding. We're not taking anything since we're losing this anyway. Going to give me a card, huh? Wherever you are, I can't stop that. 12 damage is nice, though. <laughs> Love seeing that. Uh, we definitely want to move after we've done damage. 
card to the top of the draw pile. I kind of want another acid. This parry's gonna just get stronger, I think. Acidify him. And then we're gonna go ahead and search and put... I want another acid can on top. I want to be able to play that next turn. Move here. We evade all damage. I do get literal trash, though. Uh, let's see. 12 damage is nice. I can cuss this guy. Now, this, this part has to be concussed, definitely. So, I think we um, poison shot and then multi shot after we move one. So we take one damage from this shot. Poison shot. Move one. Then we don't have any uh, evasion for next turn. That's fine. We're, we have stun. All we need. Do a big damage there. I take one damage. I don't want to do anything else. Draw shot probably won't help me. No, draw shot won't help. Block shot will, I guess. Missiles. Well, I could turn those around. If I can get to them, that's that's the question. Down to 35 health. Thankfully, we did get some evade out of this. Somehow, I don't think we want to lunge that way. We could lunge that way. I don't think we want to. If we don't move, I take one damage. I think I'm fine with that. I think I live with a one damage. And I just uh, stack up scramble for next turn. He says as he um, uses all his power. It's still... It's two damage. That's not bad. I, could, I can live with two damage. Rather than moving any, moving any is going to do more damage. Forgot Scramble's two power. Not the tactical genius that I wish I was. Okay, um, don't have, I have trash. Good. Trash does not help me. Probably want to panic. <laughs> Probably want to panic. Get me out of here. I have three evasion. Uh, and let's go ahead and just... Let's just think twice. I can just keep putting that on top. There's nothing in my thing. Now or never. We don't want to play now or never. I think we... Um, we do this. And then I play nothing. And that will get me... Put it on. I put this back on top, I guess, but I don't really care. We play nothing. Wings retract. I block one damage. I'm up to five evasion. Which is really good for, like, right here. Perfect. I can move back over here and just lay into him with our gun. He's got four poison now. Uh, we can panic again. We can also lunge. Let's... I mean, it doesn't really matter. We're gonna... Acid. Then... Uh, the... We lunge? It turns this off. And then we can panic back, and then we'll be right back where we are and take no damage. Should take no damage. So, or we can also just not play anything and also take about the same amount of damage. And this isn't going to do anything. Uh, no, no, it won't do anything. Yeah. Let's just end turn. If we get one shield from this and then we lose it from this. This is our abode. We, we live right here. Um, let's see, that's not gonna kill you at all. Let's, you know what, uh, would be a great card to pull. <laughs> it's a really good card. 
Perfect. The draw shot is going to draw multi shots, which will go through armor. Or I just get a basic dodge. I can also just. You know Let's get rid of the trash and we'll get a basic dodge. He's on a timer, I'm not. It's not like he's getting any stronger. How much health do you have? You're down to 15 plus, you 17 total. Just go in for a strafe run. Do absurd amounts of damage. I can turn this off, which might not be the worst idea, and then I just eat the two damage here. Do I have, ooh, do I have lethal here? I can do 13 to this. Plus another four. That's 17. That might be lethal. I think this is lethal. You have 13 health total. Oh, but this I attacked la- oh, well. That's fine. I'm still blocking this. And you're still dead at the start of your next turn. It's still technically lethal. I just lose the shielding. What's happening? System reports. The Cobalt went critical. We're exposed to the core singularity. Are all the emergency blast doors closed? Yes, but we can't sustain this. The hull is literally melting. Maybe the Cobalt. What else are we supposed to do? I don't even know why we were fighting it. <laughs> Hello. He's telling us, identify yourself. It's the random card man? Like, stab. We have like 30 seconds left before we're dead. Hello, broken ones. Your poor shattered time streams. I can help. There are other souls tangled in this time knot. I mean, Isaac and Max. And two others. Now, who shall I repair first? Um. Well, I, I like blue. Fixing this dude. I don't know what that means. I have questions. I will hear them. It's time, Luke. Do you know how to get out? Yes. Can you let us out? Uh, if I do, you blow up. Timelines are too fragile to cross the boundary. It's some kind of pocket universe. You must be the clever one. That wasn't an answer. Also, that kind of answers it. All right. I just need to do that, um, what, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, uh, yeah, 17 more times. <laughs> 17 more times. Did I say there was two more people? That Isaac and Max, I think. T2, I did not read that fast enough. So basically, we focused, we focused three particle beams into the crystal sample. Cool. This emits a burst of all kinds of subatomic particles and a controllable sphere of space-time distortion around the core, which... Hold on, I'm trying to write this all down. Don't bother, the physics doesn't matter for a drone operator. It matters to me if I'm going to be a participant in a giant explosion. It's fair. It's only, there's only a tiny chance of that, though. Good. There's a ton of cool science I could do with this if we're careful. Perry won't let me. Perry sounds very smart. So the important thing is, you don't want to be in the reactor core when it's active. Definitely don't. Write that one down. Don't go inside the particle accelerator. Who could have guessed to not go inside of that? Only maybe uh, if you have an a like. I oh no, I'm forgetting it. How could I forget it? Gordon, C Gordon Freeman's suit. It's a hazard suit. Why do I not remember the name of it? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. 120 turns. Hour and a half. 23 hull damage taken. Pretty good. Pretty good. A lot of cards. I think we had a good smattering of cards, too. Somehow, I, I guess I do take a lot of evasion. I like evasion. I guess... I guess I should have went with parry. Or Riggs. I should have went with Riggs. Because of all the card movement. Not that it really matters. I, I didn't get anything out of it, right? We found a tenth of the cards. They're, they're about. And about an eighth of the artifacts. One of 18 memories unlocked. Also, character unlocked, Isaac. Achievement unlocked as well. 
Oh, we have other difficulties. We played normal, because that was just kind of what it gave us. Win a run on hard, or harder to unlock this ship. Get 40 different artifacts, which I heard you could actually do in the demo. I just really didn't want to play Sector 1, like, 20 times. Win a run without dizzy rigs or parry in your crew. So yes, I definitely need to unlock these other two to get this one. Win 10 runs to unlock the ship. Halfway there. Neat. Now the question is, if people can make custom ships, how moddable is this game? I want infinite mods because I want infinite ships. There's so many ship layouts I could think of. Vents are harder, start combat with a weak cockpit, plus one basic shot, less pre-upgraded card offerings, minus one haul. Vents are harder. I mean, we ha the events didn't actually do anything. Like, there wasn't a difficulty to the events. Plus one basic shot, weak cockpit, one corrupted core, less upgrades, minus three max health, one less max haul gained from killing bosses. Elites only offer two artifacts. And take a downside on boot sequence. Events are harder, start combat with a brittle cockpit, one basic shot, one corrupted core, less pre-upgraded card offerings. Why is that so much stuff? Start with 50% of your haul missing, most enemies are harder. Alright, well next time, we're playing on hard, and then we're gonna take Isaac out for a spin. Create and manipulate mid-row objects like missiles and drones. Why did I read that in the wrong order? I don't know.